2,000 years ago, they did not have the fancy electronic equipment that you see on these boats that are on the water today. In, in order to determine the depth, they had to use something a little bit different, something that you might call a lead and a line. I have one here that I can show you. You see it would be equipped with this on the end as a weight. It's called a plummet, and it would plummet to the depth of the sea. They would toss it over the side of the boat, and it would get into the water, and as it was in the water, you could determine the depth by the various markings on the rope. You would, you would let the line out into the water till you would get to your first mark. You see there's two strips of leather here. This would mean it's two fathoms deep. That's how you could tell by the, the night. If it was dark outside and you couldn't see the, the line at all, you could just feel it with your hands and determine Oh, that's the two fathom. And you would call back to the, to the helmsman in the back of the boat. You would say, by the mark, two fathoms. They would know that, that two fathoms deep was the depth of the water. Now, I've got here a, a lead in line. This is an eight fathom uh, lead. This actually is three fathoms. They, they Traditionally, they'd be marked at two, three, five, seven, ten, 13, 15, 17, and 20 fathoms. So, if I was going to be calling out the fathoms back up to the, the helmsman, then the leadsman, me, I'd be sitting here with my, my lead in line and I could, I could shout out, by the mark, meaning by the mark on the, on the line, three, and they would know it was three fathoms. If it was between, then I would say, by the deep, is deeper than three fathoms. Or I would say a quarter less, meaning it's just a little bit less than the fathom mark. Then whenever you could pull the, the plummet back up into the boat, many times it would pick up some of what was on the bottom of the sea and you could determine what kind of sea you're sailing over on the bottom. If it, if it picked up a bunch of earth, sand and dust, then you could determine it was, it was very muddy on the bottom. But if it was coming up clean, then maybe you knew it was rocky. So you're probably wondering still, how deep is a fathom? In sailing terms, a fathom is about six feet deep, which is how tall I am, six feet. So that means if they were calling out 20 fathoms, it's 120 feet. If they said 15, by the mark 15, then that would be 90 feet deep. So that's the way these, these sailors, they used to use the lead and line to be able to determine the depth of the water. So when you read about it in the Bible, they're actually using the lead and line to be able to determine the depth of the water as they're coming in towards land. And since the land is rising up quickly, they know we are close to the shore.